Uh, hi, everyone. Thank you so much for having me today. I'm, I'm super excited to be here for a number of reasons. One, it is so nice to be able to attend an event whereby if I start getting like a headache or a rash or, or say elbow pain or a headache with a rash, say, and elbow pain. I don't have to Google WebMD. All I'm going to do is literally look out to the audience, and I'm hoping someone will just call out my ailment. Is that, is it poison ivy? Do I, I, I bet you it's poison. That's what I thought it was. But uh, two, if anyone here has ever seen anything I've ever done at the Today Show or followed me on social media, you will know that health and wellness is as big a part of my life as my job and my family and my Seinfeld uh, knowledge. Some would call it an obsession. I like to think of it as an obsession, so those people would be right. So, <laughs> nice job, guys. And third, as a working mother of two little girls, ages two and four, I've basically turned into an emotional mush. Like, I, I, honestly, true story, I cried at a Doritos commercial last week, but in my defense, he thought he was out of Doritos, and then the little girl gave him more Doritos, so then he was okay, and then everybody, it was just, it was emotional and sad. Um, <laughs> So that's how that went. Uh, moving on, it goes without saying, yes, I am moved by sad commercials, as well as uh, being moved by inspiring stories of people who overcome obstacles to achieve health and obviously to achieve happiness as well. And speaking of inspiring stories, the concept of health heroes is built on the promise that all of us, whatever our background may be, can take our stories, our concerns, our passions, and our personal strengths, and we can use them to improve the lives of other people. So this new generation of WebMD health heroes focuses on not now and not yesterday, but on the future. And they are the best, and they are the brightest young people working to improve health, to improve wellness, and the quality of care. Listen to the type of people, honestly, who are, who are changing the world. 11-year-old Chloe Fernandez, already a published author, having written a book for kids with a rare genetic disease when she was just 10, literally 10. I didn't know my last name when I was 10 years old. <laughs> Like, I thought I knew it, but like I didn't really know how to spell it, so I, I don't go full knowledge. Lauren Singer, whose research in high school has helped us better understand autism. And 17-year-old Kavya Koparupo, who last year invented a new device to diagnose diabetic retin retinopathy. Which I had to Google because I didn't even really know what that was. So let's face it, she is doing amazing things. Imagine, just for a second, imagine what the future holds for these young heroes who have accomplished so much before the age of 20, think back to what you were doing at age 20. You are nodding your head, but I know that you are a heck of a lot smarter than everyone else here, Dr. Maggot, so you can't nod. But we all, <laughs> the rest of us, we're all nodding. It really is incredible. And while they come from all different backgrounds and you are going to meet them, uh, having people there to support them and to, and to guide them along the way is all part of their success. And that's why this year we have a new Mentor of the Year Award from Medscape awarded to radiologist Dr. Donna Maggid, whose support and guidance of medical students has helped chart their futures. So these four winners saw a need in some aspect of healthcare, and they used their own unique gifts to serve that need. Let me talk about selfless and smart and much better with their free time than I ever was back in high school. All right, we have some very special guests here today to present our winners with their awards. After each award is presented, we're gonna ask our winners to take a seat on stage and join us for a panel discussion afterwards, which will highlight their accomplishments. All right, so let us meet this year's WebMD Health Heroes. And to present our award in the Medscape Mentor of the Year category, a diagnostic radiology resident at the Johns Hopkins Hospital. She's an eight-year mentee of Dr. Maggid, and their collaboration is still going strong. Please welcome, she also has the cutest kid you'll ever see, uh, sidebar, Dr. Erin Gomez. Wow. 